Hello there, first time grower here. Uh, made my first video a couple of days ago and I just thought I'd show you what else I've got growing in pots. As my, my potato, which is still here, seems to be doing uh, rather well, uh, looking quite healthy. Uh, so I brought some other pots out to show you. This uh, pot here, I'm actually growing carrots in, which they been in there about three four five weeks now I can't remember exactly how long they've been in there but they seem to be doing quite well and looking very healthy I think there's probably about 25 or 30 carrots in here I think this is a 11 inch pot so it's probably about 12 liters of uh, compost in there but they seem to be doing very well uh, a few weeds in there so I should probably Pay a bit more attention to them. But apart from that, they're they're looking good. I hope we get a good uh, crop of carrots out of it. And then in my next pot here is some uh, beetroot. There's a couple uh, quite big there. There's a couple that didn't come up, so I put a couple more seeds in, and they're starting to come up now. Uh, looks like we've got another weed there, so I'll just, just get rid of that. I'm really not good at doing my weeding. Good job I'm paying more attention today. Uh, but they're looking quite good. I don't know how big they get in these pots or whether we get anything we can actually eat or anything that's useful. But, you know, I've got the seeds and they're not expensive, so we might as well give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? We have to reuse the compost again next year. And in my next pot here, which has also got weeds in it, is uh, parsnips. Uh, these parsnips I started inside on the windowsill on a bit of uh, wet tissue. Waited till the root just came out a little bit and then planted them in this pot here. And they seem to have taken well. All three have come up, I only put three in here. Uh, and then we'll see if we actually get any parsnips on there. This is quite a quite a deep pot, so I don't think there'll be any problem with depth. Uh, I didn't really strain out the big bits of uh, compost in here, so that could be a problem when the roots start going down. But hopefully not. Then in my next pot here, I've got uh, runner bean. I have no idea if these will grow well in pots. Uh, I think they need quite a bit of uh, nutrition so the pot might be a bit too small. Uh, and you need to keep an eye on the watering and make sure it's watered all the time because in these small pots they dry out and the uh, beans do need a lot of water. Especially where these pots are black and if they're in the sun they will heat up and dry out very quickly. So that's just something to to keep an eye on but so far it looks it looks pretty good but I don't know if there'd be enough energy or nutrition in that compost for them to grow up the canes and produce beans but you know be a nice little experiment and we'll see if we get anything at the end of it and I've got two more pots here with uh, potatoes in these ones were seed potatoes uh, just hold that up maybe you can see the see them there. It's just about time to add a bit more uh, compost to these so I thought while I'm out here I, I might as well do it. Oh, I'll just, just put it around the top of the potato being careful not to damage the leaves. Uh, sorry about the bells in the background that's just uh, the train tracks. There'll be another train coming in there. hope that's not too annoying for you. So there, I've put the compost in there, just up to the, just up to the bottom of the leaves there. Just put it around. We we'll just do the other one. I think that I need a bit more compost in it. Don't know if you can see that or not. And we we'll just do the same with this one. But they're looking quite good at the moment. This pot's a bit smaller. This is a, these are 10 inch pots. We've got these two lots of potatoes in, and they're not quite as deep. But in a couple of months or so we'll turn these out and see how we do, see if we get any potatoes. 
Uh, that's that. What's that done there? Just put it up so there's a little bit sticking out the top there because the potatoes actually grow up the plant. They don't grow from the top down. So you keep filling it up and that's where the potatoes will grow out from. So that's what we have uh, grown in pots at the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or if you've got any tips for me, they'd be much appreciated. But from first time grower, that's it for now. Thanks very much.